What an amazing weekend in the world of Google Stadia. On Saturday, we had our second ever Stadia Super Saturday, and without you guys, it wouldn't have been the big success that it was, so we want to thank you. But we need to look forward, and look forward we will, because on Friday, just before Stadia Super Saturday, Google Stadia announced that we are getting a Stadia Connect. Yes, our first Stadia Connect since last August, and if you're unfamiliar with what the Stadia Connect is, it's pretty much Google's answer to the Nintendo Direct, so a lot of awesome stuff could be coming up here on Tuesday. But we wanted to make a, and yes, as I just said, we, so stick around. We wanted to make some predictions here so we can say we told you so. So stick around because I got some lovely guests who are gonna help me predict what's going down tomorrow during the Stadia Connect. If you're new to the channel and you are interested in news analysis and reviews on the world of Google Stadia from yours truly, don't forget to hit subscribe. Get yourself notified by clicking that bell so you will get up-to-date notifications when we go live with new content, new live streams, whatever the case may be. Stadia Connect. A lot of people are trying to temper expectations because we've been burned a couple times by Google when it comes to, well, we're predicting maybe when the launch of Stadia is going to happen, all that kind of stuff, when games are coming, blah, 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 blah. But I'm going to be honest, I'm pretty excited for it because I think we're going to be getting something pretty good because with the launch of Stadia happening just a couple weeks ago, this is the time to strike when that proverbial iron is hot. So without further ado, I'm going to go off uh, my previous video when we talked about Madden coming to the platform and, well, our possibilities of it. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and pass this over to Eddie because he's going to talk about his first predictions of what we are going to be getting for the Stadia Connect. Hey, Brian, thanks for inviting me to the club today to do this collab with you. If you guys don't know me, I'm Eddie Gomez from the Stadia Player One YouTube channel. I think Brian's going to put the link here on the description. But Brian invited me to talk to you about the predictions or my predictions for the Stadia Connect that is happening. So I'm going to predict that Stadia and EA partnership will finally be coming a reality. Stadia has multiple times said EA is a partner, a publisher that they are working with, but it has been five months and we've seen no EA titles on Stadia. So I think, and maybe I, I want to hear you on this, Brian. Uh, do you think that we will get EA titles by summer or during summer? What's your thoughts, Brian? Thank you, Eddie. We'll hear more from him in a few. But to answer his question, I do believe we're going to be getting something here in the summer. I still think that Madden will be the first EA, not just EA Sports, but EA title in general that we get. Because I'm still not confident we're going to get an EA title that is a port just yet. I do believe it's going to be a full-on new release. So that's my prediction. We're going to get Madden, and it's going to be announced on Tuesday, just in general from Google and EA itself. Moving on, we have had so many other games that have been announced for Google Stadia at some point, but we still haven't had an idea of when we're going to be getting them. This is obviously the time to do it. So, I mean, this is going to be the part of the presentation that you're going to be getting that may not be too too much of interest if some of the games that were previously announced are of no interest to you, but I'm going to go ahead and make a couple predictions of what I think will be announced in terms of releasing. Uh, we're going to talk about Super Hot, I think Power Rangers Battle for the Grid. We're also going to be getting the Turing Test, Monster Jam Steel Titans, and this is going to be the one that's actually going to matter to many of you because you'll actually be interested in this, Elder Scrolls Online. So initially we're supposed to be getting our information about Elder Scrolls Online from E3, but E3 ain't happening this year, so we're going to be looking at maybe a different schedule in terms of when we're going to be getting that announced, and I think this is a good as time as any to get that announcement. Now, obviously, I have no bearing on how I would know that. I'm just simply guessing. We're predicting. That's what this is all about, so we can come back and say, hey, you heard it here first, and I told you so. Next up, I think the biggest slam dunk in terms of what's going to be the easiest thing to predict is the fact that we're probably getting our Stadia Pro announcements for the month of May during the Stadia Connect. This is not an unusual thing to have happen when you do these kind of events. PlayStation's done it with their state of play, so this is a good place to do it, especially because Tuesday is when we're probably going to hear about them to begin with. So whether they do it in their blog post or they do it in the Connect, which makes the most sense, we're going to go with that. Now, if you were with us during the Stadia Initiative a couple weeks ago on episode number one, we made our predictions in full. If you haven't seen that, go ahead and click the link up here in the top right, and you can go rewatch that entire episode, nearly four hours in length, or you can go to Spotify and listen to the audio-only version. That is censored, so you can listen to that one around kids. Uh, but if you did not see it and you don't have the time at the moment, you should definitely go watch it eventually. But here is a list of what we all predicted during that time. And of course, this was before some sales went alive, but 
Uh, I went with Lost Words and Wolfenstein. Lost Words still eligible, but <laughs> with Wolfenstein being on a sale now, it's more than unlikely to happen. Uh, Eddie, he mentioned Assassin's Creed Odyssey, and before we get too much further, I was the only one that did not predict uh, Assassin's Creed to come because, I don't know, I just wasn't feeling that optimistic just yet about that being a free-to-play title just yet. Chase over at Stadia Talk, he went with Assassin's Creed Odyssey as well and The Division 2. I mentioned in a live stream over the weekend that uh, besides this being on sale now, Ubisoft is now putting this game on an eight hour or so trial for console. So I don't see this going free to play because of that specifically. Next up was MM2K from Stadia Dosage. He went with Assassin's Creed Odyssey and Lost Words. Of course, I think Lost Words is a good, good bet. Um, Meg Megatron X, she picked Trials, Assassin's Creed Odyssey, and Lost Words. A big triple threat there. So if that comes true, that's going to very, very, very well be a very awesome thing for so many people. So to have that kind of triple threat, uh, you have an indie title and then two big Ubisoft titles, that would be a good, good bet. Uh, and then Germani, also known as 64, went with Assassin's Creed Odyssey. And then he went with Gunsport being shadow dropped into the May Pro games along with Get Packed. Now, we'll talk about Get Packed here in just a moment because this is a good segue. But before we do that, we are also talking about free games, right? So usually when you know the new month comes around, we get new games added to our pro subscription to play for free as long as we keep that subscription going. But free to play games has also been a hot topic when it comes to what's it going to be like on Stadia and when should we expect more of them outside of Destiny. And I got our godfather of Stadia, Chase, to tell us all about the free to play side that he thinks is going to show up this Tuesday. Hey everybody, uh, I'm here to do a quick prediction. Uh, first, just want to say thank you to Brian. Uh, from Club Stadia for having me on uh, for this quick prediction and quick kind of thoughts in regards to a game that we might potentially be seeing announced during the Stadia Connect on Tuesday, the 28th at 9 a.m. Pacific Daylight Time uh, this upcoming week. Uh, a very, very interesting uh, bit of news that actually happened back in February. I'm actually going to show this article real quick because I think it's important to what I'm going to talk about. Uh, Screen Rant, uh, and this article was by Cody Peterson, uh, actually wrote an article that Rainbow Six Siege would be coming to PlayStation 5, Xbox Series X, and Google Stadia. And down further in the article, you'll actually notice here this uh, quote, or not quote, but this uh, part of the article, sorry. Um, During the Rainbow Six Siege World Championship Finals, Ubisoft Montreal revealed that Rainbow Six Siege will release on Stadia, PlayStation 5, and Xbox Series X. So the reason that this is um, interesting is because this upcoming week, we heard from the Stadia team that they would be uh, announcing a couple new games. There have been some rumblings and some rumors floating around that Rainbow Six Siege, the free-to-play version at least, would be announced towards the end of April, beginning of May, as far as some release dates across multiple platforms. And this is falling right in line with this connect that's coming up. So I think we are potentially... Uh, set up here to get some news in regards to Rainbow Six Siege on Tuesday. So we'll have to stay tuned and see if that actually comes true. It'll be very, very interesting to watch. Uh, Again, I want to thank Brian so much from from Club Stadia for having me on, and I'll catch you all in a future video or live stream. You all take it easy. Thank you, Chase. You are always welcome here. And, you know, he, he's very, very confident that we're going to be getting Rainbow Six. And, well, I'd be more interested to see if it does end up being free to play. And, well, Ubisoft being a partner of Google Stadia, it's, it seems like an easy thing to predict. But we will see tomorrow. We will see tomorrow. That'd be a pretty bold, awesome prediction to be correct on. Next up are features. So features, we should be getting some information regarding features. And I'm going to go ahead and let Eddie take over for this one. All right. My second prediction is maybe a kind of a bold one. Uh, but it is the YouTube integration features with Stadia. Namely, crowd play, crowd choice, and state share. Google has already proven or showed it to us last year that those features work. We've seen on Twitter here and there that a few developers are working already, planning to implement that feature in the game. So maybe it's time for Google. Maybe no, I- I'm going to put this prediction. I'm signing it down. YouTube integration features such as Crowdplay will be announced on this event. The <laughs> I forgot the name of the event again. I keep f- mixing String Connect with Stadia Connect. But yeah, the event is Stadia Connect. Sorry, I dr- uh, drifted away a little bit. But again, thanks, Brian, for having me on this channel and um, being welcome on the club today. 
Thank you, Eddie. I know YouTube integration has been something many people have been waiting for, myself included, because if there's a way I can lessen the resources on my actual system when I'm streaming, that is even better. And it's going to open up the ability for so many different people to create content, which is going to be a good thing for this community because we'll be able to get to meet so many more people who are interested in just bringing the best of the best when it comes to this platform out there. So definitely keep my on the features thing. I'm not sure what we will get specifically because a lot of it has to deal on the game development side too. So we should be seeing something regarding it, I would imagine. So it's a good guess right there. Next up, we got an announcement during the last GDC about a exclusive game coming to Stadia. And that is coming from our friends over at Splash Damage who worked on uh, Microsoft series like Gears of War and Halo. And they had talked about an exclusive game they're working on for Google Stadia. And this is exactly what they said. This is the CEO of Splash Damage, Richard Jolly, who was quoted as saying when talking about Google Stadia, our games have always been about bringing people together. And that's what we really care about as a studio. We started this by pushing team playing shooters. So when choosing our next projects, whether it's working on certain franchises or platforms, we always go back to that goal. How do these projects or platforms help us ignite friendships? With Stadia, it made perfect sense immediately. The platform is removing friction and allowing people to connect and play with each other instantly. We think we're building something that's fun, unique, and takes advantage of Stadia's best features. It's something a little different from us, but it still has all the hallmarks of what makes a splash damage game great. Now here's the thing, I don't think we're getting a full on gameplay reveal of Splash Damage's game just yet. I do believe, however, we're going to get an idea of what we should be expecting. So like a cinematic reveal of some sort from the team over Splash Damage is going to be my second big, big prediction outside of the whole EA thing, because I'll be really, really shocked if we have no EA presence from this at all. But uh, the Splash Damage reveal is definitely my second biggest prediction. And this one is kind, this next one is kind of out there a little bit in terms of it's very specific but I'm, I'm thinking it's gonna be right. So that specific prediction is a bunch of shadow drops. Now, one of the biggest complaints about this platform is the lack of games, which it's, it's not unfounded. Like there's a very low amount of games that you can purchase on Stadia. It's been available since November 19th. So that argument's valid, you know, I'm okay with that. But this is the time to change it, okay? So I'm predicting we're getting three shadow drops. If you've watched me over the last couple of days, you are you have heard this, but maybe you haven't, and this is my official place to kind of narrow it down into this small little video so you can actually hear about it. This is what I'm predicting. We're getting Orcs Must Die 3, which is a game that was slated to come out during the spring. Guess where we're at? We're in the spring right now. Panzer Dragoon Remake, which was initially scheduled for winter 2020 release, which that falls in line with the December 2019 to about February, March 2020 area. Nintendo got the exclusive rights for it for a little while, but we aren't aware of how long it is. I've heard rumors of a very small window. This is a good time as any to pull another Shadow Drop of Panzer Dragoon, this time on another platform. So I do believe Panzer Dragoon is coming to Stadia on Tuesday. And the last one, a game everyone's been anticipating in this community is Get Packed. I believe this game is not a free to play game from the Stadia Pro side because of the amount of giveaways they've done with this game specifically. And some people may say, oh, it's just been premier packs or it's been uh, just specific aspects that you get with Stadia. It hasn't. There has been a couple times where they've actually given game codes away. Now, the game code has not been sent out yet, obviously, for reasons that are very obvious. But giving away game codes would not happen if this game was going to be free anyway. What's the point of winning a contest where everyone's just getting the same reward as you anyway? So that's why I believe Get Packed will finally make its uh, release date happen on Tuesday as a shadow drop. And that kind of goes in line with the whole feature aspect that Eddie was talking about earlier when it comes to crowd play and whatnot. So, so I got three shadow drops coming, get packed, Orcs Must Die 3, and the Panzer Dragoon remake. But I want to know what all your wild predictions are for tomorrow's Stadia Connect because mine, mine are a little out there. Yes, I get that, but we got to make these kinds of predictions here because that's what I do. I'm wrong on these things. I'm, it's time for me to be right. You know, the whole broken clock twice, whatever. Like this video if you liked it. Of course, get subscribed so you can stay up to date on videos like this. Again, I want to thank Eddie and Chase for joining me on this video specifically. If you haven't already, go ahead and subscribe to the channel. Stadia Talk is where you can find Chase and then Stadia Player One is where you can find Eddie. Those two put together an awesome podcast known as This Week on Stadia should be returning very soon. And of course, they're awesome members of the Stadia Initiative. And without them, this video would have been a little shorter. So if, if that, if that bugged you, go, go yell at them. <laughs> but in the meantime, again, thank you. Leave your thoughts below, as I already mentioned. In the meantime, thank you again, and party on.